Righto, the F135 motor out of the fire truck, Samantha. We have to get some stuff happening on this. I've been very busy, tied up with a whole lot of other stuff. Um, it's exciting stuff and it's an expansion for 40 channel. But what that does is it takes away from a bit of filming and building. It'll all be revealed shortly. But anyway, let's get into this motor. Let's lube it up. Let's prime the oil pump and get that oil to the top of the rockers. And we're gonna show you how we did that. Let's get straight into the episode. Righto, so the fire truck is totally lubed up. So the transfer case, the gearbox, they're all full of fluids. The front and rear diff are full of fluids. And we've also filled the engine full of oil as well. So Next thing we need to do is prime the oil pump to make sure that it's all okay. Now, the quickest way we can find out whether that's doing what it needs to do, we rip out the distributor. We're taking the top off. Now, all I did was I bought the cheapest flathead big screwdriver I could find. And when I say cheap, this one was cheap. I wouldn't want to uh, trust it too much. Now, I just cut the handle off and perfect. This one actually has a hex on it too, which makes it even better for grabbing into the drill. Chuck it in the drill. And we're gonna put this down into where our distributor was. And the first thing that hopefully you're gonna feel is that oil pump running, and then you're gonna feel it get a little bit of resistance to so the pump, and, which means the oil pump is actually working. Next thing we're gonna look for is oil into our oil filter bowl to make sure we've got oil going into there. And what we really hope to see, which could be a bit of a rarity, but we're gonna give it a go, is we hope to see oil coming out of all these little oil holes all along the top here into our rockers. To make that happen could be a little bit tricky because what we're gonna to have to do is have everything lined up. So in the camshaft, all the little oil holes have to line up with the block, which have to line up with all your lines, which pump it up to here which then run it down. So what I've seen is some people have taken the time and effort, run the oil pump. If they get nothing, they crank the motor a little bit, run the oil pump. They just keep doing it until they find out the position and get it going. I don't know what that position is. We'll give it a bit of a go, spin the motor and see if we can get oil up the top there. Right Righto. Just drop that into there. Just run it very slow and you'll feel that drop in when you start running it. Right, I've just felt resistance right there. You might have heard the drill labor up. So I know that the oil pump is pumping oil through the system. All right, there's plenty of oil in there, so I know that our oil pump is working beautifully. That is chock a block full of oil, righto. So it's a brand new oil filter kit. It came with the O-rings, the whole lot. Let's just do it up nice and tight. Try again. All these lines I had to get custom made. So they're all brand new. Rockers, here we go. Starting to come out. Right, that's really exciting that I've actually got oil up onto my rockers. So I didn't think I was going to get there. It took a lot of mucking around. Hopefully, to help you guys out because I, because I've spent a long time mucking around to try to get it right. So just adjusting that uh, camshaft with the turn on the front of the motor, 
over and over and over again and coming back and adjusting the drill. But what I have found for everyone playing at home is that if you look at your rockers and two and three, five and six and 10 and 11, if they're all in the fully closed position, if you line it all up so they're in the fully closed position, oil comes spewing up through it. So I am really happy because I was a little bit nervous that I wasn't gonna be able to get oil through all my system. I don't know why, because everything's rebuilt. The oil pump was rebuilt, all the galleries were all cleaned out, all the lines were all cleaned out, and everything's been plumbed up correctly. But until you see it yourself, you always get a little bit nervous. And it's good, because now I've uh, found some oil leaks straight off the bat before we started the motor up, which are all around the oil filter. So that's all taken care of as well. Right, so we need to set the distributor back up. We'll flick it back around to our mark on our flywheel, making sure that the valves are closed on number one and we're at top dead center on number one, as per the last video. So you can check that out if you want to know how to set your distributor up. We'll throw the tappet cover back on, put the gasket on there, and we'll see if we can get someone else over here to give me that extra support to see if we can fire this beast up. Right, let's put it all back together. Very exciting. Right, so all we need to do now is throw our gasket and our rocker cover back on. So this is a cork gasket, pretty much the way they were. I'm just going to clean this. Uh, just going to clean the surface with a tiny bit of wax and grease remover. Just give that internal part just a slight wipe as well. Clean all that up. The 8518 gasket sealant, we'll just run that around, a small little bead. That'll just help two things, hold that uh, cork gasket in place and just give it a really good seal. Right, our, our gasket has these little notches just here out of it and they just line up with our head bolts. position that gasket in just the right spot so we don't have uh, anything that's going to not seal correctly. All right, now I'm going to run some gasket sealant just around the top of that as well, just to really help it lock onto place. Right now, our rocker cover. So, breather hole, we're going to face that towards the carby. Well, that gasket is nicely tucked under the lip of that rocker cover all the way around. Got brand new rubber seal plugs. I just sit straight over and pop straight into the top of that cover. Now these ones popped in okay, that one's not too bad. This one, very difficult to get in. All we need to do is we can put the nut on top we just do that nut up and that will help push that seal back in. We can even get a little bit of a touch with a flathead screwdriver just either side to help it go in. Righto, that's it. So everything's put back together. The whole motor's lubed up. We've primed the oil pump. We've double checked to make sure that there's oil getting everywhere it needs to get, including all the rocker arms, the whole top assembly, into the oil filter. Uh, it's fixed up any little oil leaks. This thing is ready to go. And I've said that I don't know how many times, but anyway, we're this close. Anyway, guys, if you want to keep up with this build, feel free to subscribe. Thank you so much for all your support out there so far. It's been absolutely awesome and I really appreciate it. And until next time, take care of yourselves.